just a casual player, just using his skills. Uh, I, and uh, the other thing is, uh, your spirit is dead. I think here is very weak because his skills are very uh, weak, and uh, this patch is not like uh, best for type of roamers, roamers like uh, Earth. Spirit in group stages, 28% win rate. In main event, completely untouched. So this is OG's kind of last round. This beginning marks their end. First and the last word, dealing that magic damage. But if you're using that just to offset the flame guard, you're probably not playing this lane to your strength. Yeah. We don't see this lane play very often. That's why I'm not 100% sure about Anna. it. Anna, he's gonna flame guard up. Jira actually the rolling boulder in. Lil's taking way too much damage. Anna, that's the start he wants. Up to level two in a bit. You're gonna need all of that and a BKB if you're gonna try and survive this. Anna still only level five. So this is the one. They're gonna try to dive here. No tail comes in. Yeah, this time they hit the mark. It's right on top of the silence. The global silence does come out, but the damage from No Tail is already there. He already got the metamorphosis up. I'm gonna trade, as you said, Ramsey's getting that tower. Now we start having to watch the board game. See how deep these wards coming from Virtus Pro. They've already got one city oh, between solo. the tower. Okay, that might be one way to do it. Onto Jirax, but Ember Spirit jumping forward with the double silence. Juggernaut as well as Crystal Maiden. Nothing they can do apart from burn. Ramsey's the TP out the rock. It actually connects. No way to TP out this one. Quick Omni Slash doesn't get the lucky bounce, and so Jirax will be able to escape. Juggernaut and Crystal Maiden pushing up the daisies. Get there in time. But the top lane pressure is now going to work. No Global Suns, no Wukong's command. So Metamorphosis gets triggered and Terra Blade pushes to the tier two tower. Solar will come up. Trying to actually stop this, but then again, you've got Monkey King getting caught on the way through. Ramdys will try and be involved as well. Here goes your RP. Solo onto Anna. The flame guard protection. He spirit jumps forward, actually into a kill position. Taking Solo, the spirit away, the skewer will work, but the defensive spirit allows him to escape. The kick, it catches two. There's four, they can go for more. Will he actually put down the hole? Not required. The kills, they're all rolling away of OG. Anna will TP himself away to regenerate and then rejoin the team. And what a fight for OG, now 10-5. Early game advantage turning in to mid-game momentum. Not finding it. They're going in through top lane. They're not even going to prep for, through mid. The creep wave momentum is up on top. So Monkey King has to let his stun go already. That's a 23 second cooldown without that. There's no extra line stuns into this fight. And the Terra Blade, he's just doing it from range. The pop in, you at least kill off the creep wave. Now the tower down to one third of his life, but no tail starts up again. Remember, he's got that Aegis Immortal, Solo moving in close. No tell doesn't mind taking the 30 damage. He's always got that Sunder available just to put one of the VP players into a bad position. Speaking of that, the skewer back. Anna had his own spirit and the double kick from Jirax connects on the Juggernaut as well. As on the Magnus, into the Wukong command. There's that secondary stun. It's on the Terra Blade. Sunder used on Ramsey's. Now the Omni Slash into No Tell. They push him back with the kick. Will it be enough? Jirax will sacrifice himself for the greater Terra. That was such a big play from Jarex in that fight. He made multiple great plays. He got the instant silence off on the silencer when the mag went for the Blink Skewer. And not only the silencer, I think he also got the silence on mag. Because the play VP are looking for here is to Blink Skewer one hero into the base, which in this case was Ana, and just global silence and kill him off. That was a dead ember if it was a beautiful play from Jarex, showing why he's regarded as one of the best Earth Spirits. Even in a meta where it's not very favored, he's bringing out everything the hero could do for him.